many aspiring leaders have various reasons for their aspiration. There are those who want to bear the title of president by all means, since they have corruptly amassed enough wealth to last their generation for a lifetime. There are those who want power so they can have immunity from prosecution for corrupt practices. There are those who want power so they can remain relevant since they are totally irrelevant outside of power because they don't have any productive, meaningful, eventful life outside of government office. They are totally useless outside of government office. And there are those who want power because they claim it is their turn. But it is their turn to do what? They are turn to continue ravaging and destroying the country from where the last person stopped. Not that they care for anybody. And then there are those who want power because they have perfected and they have been successful in the control, the manipulation and the domination of both the people and the financial resources of their states for decades since 1999. They determine who goes into power, who does not go. From the local government level, all the way to the governorship level, even to the National Assembly. That is, they literally, practically control both the people and the wealth of a state. They progress to the control of their region to a great degree. And now, they want to extend their control, manipulation, and domination to the whole nation. That devil is a liar. For the sake of clarity, please listen to this. The combination of control, manipulation, and domination is the definition of witchcraft. Control, manipulation, domination, that is witchcraft. Thus, having successfully bewitched and diabolically brought a whole state and to some extent a region under their control, they now want to extend that control to the entire nation. Somebody shout, God forbid. Oh. 